Today's topic is the bow drill divot on the handle of the Victorinox Venture Pro. And in addition, I'll show you the bow drill coin trick. With this trick, you can increase your chance to get an amber enormous. And this coin trick was also the reason why I came up with this idea. So stay tuned. Hello YouTube, welcome to another video about the Victorinox Venture Knives. Today's topic is the bow drill divot on the Victorinox Venture Pro. I will show you the best way how you can use this TV with the sparing block and I want to open your eyes for the importance of this little feature if you want to make an amber with the boat reel technique. I would say basically there are two different situations where a boat reel is needed. One situation is the bushcraft situation, the other situation is the survival situation. And regarding the difficult level, there is a big difference. For many bushcrafters, it's just boring, inglorious and stylish to ignite the fire with a match or with a lighter. So they like the idea to produce an ember with their own muscle power, in a, with a friction technique in an old traditional way. And to be honest, I can totally understand this feeling, because for me, it's still something special to sit on a fire, which I ignited with a bow drill. Don't understand me wrong, but in 95% of the bushcraft cases, the people bring the needed material from at home. And this is also what I recommend if you don't have much experience. So if you work with a perfect dried uh, poplar board in the right dimensions, with a perfect dry hazel spindle, um, or with the best tinder you can imagine, it's much easier to get an ember to ignite the fire than if you have to improvise a boat reset. And now imagine you are in a survival situation and you just have a knife like this or like this and you have to improvise a bow drill set with the material you find right now in this area. And probably you have to improvise natural cord for the bow. Oh, <laughs> this is a totally different story. You have to deal with the weather conditions. You have to be happy if you find any kind of wood which is dry enough that you can make a board, that you can make a spindle, that you find the perfect, the perfect material. This chance is minimal. And probably you are also under pressure. You, you are stressed because you have to make a fire because it's cold. So this is a totally different difficult level. But both levels, bushcraft level and survival level, has something in common. What I think this is totally underrated, doesn't matter which bowdry technique you use. And this is the friction resistance in the pressure piece in the bearing block. I often had the problem that it smoked almost as much from the hole under the bearing block than out of the hole on the drilling board. The energy you waste in the hole of the bearing block, in the hole of the pressure piece, through the friction resistance, is often the energy who lacks in the bow drill hole that you get an amber. So it's super important that you reduce the friction resistance in the bearing block. And like this, you can increase your chance to get an amber about 30 or 40 percent easy. And exactly this was the reason why I wanted to integrate this bow drill divot on the handle of the Victorinox Bushcraft fixed plate. The first try to integrate a bow drill divot on an old prototype of our knife was just, was just make a hole in the, in the sheet of this knife. And we had a metal rivet around the hole. The problem was that this 
metal rivet became too hot in use and the plastic melt. So this was a bad idea. Uh, next idea was to integrate a ball bearing in the handle, but this stainless steel ball bearing in a special modification was too expensive and we didn't like the look. So we went to the next idea. Next idea was a bolt who was going through the handle, through the tank, and one side was a, a concave, but here we had a problem with the injection mold. The final and last idea is the one we have now on the regular knife, and this is just a metal piece on one side with a concave depression. For all those who don't have the Venture Pro with a bow rivet, with it, I will show you now how you can make such a bearing block with a coin in it. I think most people have a coin somewhere, even in a survival situation. The idea to reduce the bow tree friction with such a hollow hammered coin I saw many, many years ago on the YouTube channel from my friend Zepp Fischer. The link you find in the description box below. And for all those happy people who own a Venture Pro, I will explain to you later why I'm the opinion that such a pressure piece, such a bearing block, is better to learn this technique than with the divot in the handle. So all you need for this trick is a, a branch, I prefer a fork, a stone with a round edge, this is a hammer stone, and a coin. So what I made here is I made already a hole with the bouldery technique, but you can make this hole also with the tip of your knife, like this. Next step is to hammer on this coin from one side that it get a concave shape. To do that I hammer first a deepening in a piece of wood So, like this. Then I take the coin and start to hammer. So, this is done. So next step is to expand this hole a little bit, so I make it wider. Now I hammer in the coin. And that should hold. And now I will try it out. Did you saw that? <laughs> this works fantastic. After 10 seconds, I had already smoke. Just if you don't know the double cord technique I use for the bow drill, you can watch this old video. Now I want to explain to you why I would recommend to exercise, to train with a self-made bearing block better than with the divot in the, in the handle. The problem is, if you start with this technique, your whole system is often not stable enough. And then it often happens that the spindle jumps out of the bearing block. Around the divot we have quite soft material which absorbs shocks and gives you a good grip. And if the drill jump out of the hole you can't damage the handle, but the, the handle can suffer a, a, an optical damage. And that's why I recommend to train with the self-made pressure piece and not with the divot in the handle. 
but if you are a Votary Pro, you can do it direct with the divot in the handle, no question. Now I will show you two safe ways how you can hold the knife if you want to use the divot as bow drill bearing block. If you want to hold the knife direct on the handle for a bow drill, I recommend to secure the sheet with the belt carry loop and the hex hole. To do that, you just need a little piece of a branch with a diameter about 5 or 6 millimeters. Take the knife, taper it a little bit on one side. So until the branch fits through the hole, put back the knife like this, go through the belt carry loop here, in the hex hole and now you can hammer it <coughs> a little bit in. And there is no way that the sheet falls off. Now you can hold it like this. Perfect. But this is not my favorite solution to hold the knife for a bow drill. Because the handle is quite narrow, it's too small and I would like to have a bigger handle for more control. I like to hold the bow drill divot together with the carrying system like this. Like this, I have more power to hold the knife and I have the better control. But you have to secure the knife with a velcro strap or something similar. I show you now three possibilities how you can secure the knife with a velcro strap. The first option to secure a knife is a velcro strap with a buckle on one end. And this velcro strap has to be 25 centimeters long. So first you have to go through the bell carry slot, like this, go through the buckle. If you like to carry the knife on the belt carry loop, so go through behind the belt carry loop, go through the second belt carry slot, place the buckle in the belt, paris, in the belt carry slot like this. And now you can secure a knife like this and this works great. For the second option I bought velcro band, fine side and rough side with an adhesive tape at the back. I taped together strap from 25 centimeters, this one, go through the bell carry slot, go through the second bell carry slot, like this. But now you can secure the knife like this. The third option is a velcro strap without the buckle. So here I added a fine and rough piece of velcro strap with this adhesive tape here and here so that I can close it like this. So go 
through the bell carry slot, close it, and now you can secure the knife like this. This works also fantastic. I'm sure you will find an easy and cheap solution how you can secure the knife on the carrying system. Now I would like to try to create an ember with, with material I collected yesterday. Actually I wanted to make the ember yesterday but I had too less time. Uh, this is a poplar board from a poplar branch which has fallen down on the last thunderstorm. I'm not sure if this is dry enough. Ah. <laughs> I guess this would be the critical part. This is a dry hazel branch which I collected direct from the tree. I'm also not 100% sure if this, if this is uh, dry enough. And this is just for the bow. Yes. So my friends, this was the best lesson which could happen. I needed four attempts on the new board and I almost, I almost get an amber. But it's still a bit too wet. I collected this board yesterday. Then I was exhausted. But I changed to a board which I brought from at home. And at the first attempt I was successful. This is the difference between bushcraft fire drill and survival fire drill. This is a huge difference. So my friends, that's it for today. I hope this was interesting for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!